Right, let's see if this is working. So, hi everyone. I am here to paint another rainbow animal with you. And as you can see from the picture here, it is inspired by this dozy dormouse, the one that I was telling you about last night, if you saw the little video that I did. And for those of you that didn't see that, it is about this dormouse that in the Isle of Wight got stuck in a bird feeder by going inside, eating loads and loads of food and then falling asleep and then he wasn't able to get back out again because he was so big and fat from all that food. Sounds like Winnie the Pooh, doesn't it? So I got inspired by that and thought let's paint a lovely cosy dozy dormouse. And hi, I can see you. Now it does say that we're having trouble playing with the video but I can see lots of people there which is brilliant. Hi Caroline, hi Amy, hi Helen, Teresa and Debbie. Nice to see you. Now is the video still working over my video person? Morning Nick. Okay, I'm going to keep going even though it says it's having trouble playing the video. So I thought we would paint the Dormouse so that he's all curled up really small and cute. So we're going to start. Now I'm drawing with Pro Markers and my ink pen but do feel free to use whatever you want for producing lots of colour. And we're going to start with the very little bit in the middle of his nose. Now this has just gone out of focus so I'm just going to bring the camera into focus. There we go. So we're going to start with his nose right in the middle of the page. Okay, so it's a little cute nose just like this which turns into a sleepy smile and I'm just going to colour that in so that you can see it and a big cheek so this is how he's starting he's a bit of a cartoony dormouse going around to his chin there okay now we're going to do his cute closed eyes. So this is his one eye. And he's going to be all curled up fast asleep after his big meal. And here's his other eye. Okay, got that. So then we're going to bring down his big cheek. We're not going to do it on the other side yet because we've got his cute feet there. But then I'm going to start with his tail which is going all around him making him snuggly. So I'll start here and I'm doing little furry marks as I go around like this and then his big tail is coming all the way out here and then it gets a little bit smaller as it goes down to the end And then we'll bring it all the way round in a circle because he's curled up in a little ball. Like this. And all the way around. This bit is his body. The tail is starting about here. So his tail is going whoosh all the way
way round, making a circle round him. Then I want to get in his cute feet because they really have these gorgeous, quite big feet that they snuggle into. So I'm going to put in this foot with this shape. So a bit of his cheek showing there and then this is his foot here. So that's his toe and it's coming round to his heel and then he's got little furry bits of his leg coming up to the foot and this carries round with the circular theme. Then we'll get in his other foot which comes up like this and round and just like that. And we'll have some furry bits here. Okay. Then he needs some whiskers. So he's got loads of whiskers, big whiskers that just flick when you draw whiskers. Start slow, go fast and keep them curvy and moving and flipping over each other, having a high old time. Then on the other side, now I want these whiskers to sort of get stopped by the tail and then go a little bit beyond just to show how long his whiskers are. But they are nestled under his tail as well. I'll bring some of them in a bit because they actually go more in his nose area. Okay, there we go. So he's all cute and curled up and he's going to be in a nest that he's made as well. So I might do a few little, while I've got my ink pen, a few little furry marks around. And oh yes, I wanted to get in the top of his cheek here. So there's a little shading here so that this cheek is showing up and the same on this side with little furry bits and just put his cheek in the background there okay so that's his drawing i'm going to see whether okay i can oh someone said it stopped is it still working for you martin working, yeah. it is lovely okay I hope you can still see it now, Teresa. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and we're going to do some colour. So I'm going to start with the red of the rainbow and what we're going to do is make most of his tail red. So it's going to, where the tail starts, we're going to start it with red. So with my markers, I'm just colouring this in. All the way around and you can put in little furry bits going out of the lines oh I hear it stopped no, so no, oh <laughs> He's just, he's just keeping me going. Right, I'm still going. Okay, so we're doing red this far and the red is going to merge into the beautiful orange of our rainbow. And these door mice are orange, so I think this gives a nice feeling for their actual colour to have that in there. But we are going very rainbow. 
So he's all wrapped up in his warm, cosy tail. Little flicky marks coming out. There we go. How are you getting on, kids? Good. Good. Marvellous. And I'm going to bring that colour around here so that he's surrounded by warmth. That's what he's trying to achieve. So th this is a hazel door mouse. Well, this is a cartoon version, but hazel door mice are an endangered species in the UK. There are more of them in the Isle of Wight, which is where this one was. And um, but actually, they are extinct in 17 counties in England, and they are. They, they are declining because there is less woodland around and less of their natural habitat and more farmland. Um, so they are really rare to see and they do hibernate. So this one is one that's about to hibernate. So the one that was in the bird feeder was um, getting ready to hibernate. That's why he was filling himself with loads of food and making sure he was all comfy in his tummy so that he could then store that over the winter. So it was a really rare, exciting sight to come across him. Right, we're going all round with yellow as we go in. And they do have a little white patch just here, so I'm going to leave my little white patch. And come round. Looking cute. Right, then we're going to go in with green. And I'm going to start doing it as little furry green marks. All the way around. Over his cheeks. And just in here. And we'll give him a bit of a green leg. You can put your colours wherever you like, everyone. This is just a fun session. Do what you like, but this is just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, then we'll go on to blue. Again, little tufty marks. I bet that dormouse didn't know so many people were going to be drawing him. He's an inspiration, isn't he? <laughs> Dropping lids. Oh, that's looking so sweet, Alice. Let's see yours, Jamie. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> He's just a fluff ball. That's what we call our dog. Right, blue, purple. My purple's running out, so let's see if I can get some purple out of it. At least I haven't got to cover much space here. There we go. And we're down to a little pink nose. because they have got the most adorable little pink noses and pink feet. So let's give him pink feet in the middle of our rainbow. There we go. Now, I just want to put in a few more tufty marks here and there where we can then, it makes it more like it's merging if I put a little bit of the green going over the yellow in the little furry marks. I'm having far too much fun with this. There we go. And maybe a little bit on this leg. And put some blue into the green in the same way and then it's all a little bit more graduating out. There 
and you can do this with paint if you've got paint whatever you've got and then I do want to get a little bit of shading into my feet just because I think it looks nice for a cartoony style so just going to put in this quite bold shading just in the middle where he's all curled up just like this Okay, and a bit on his nose. Then we could have him in his nest. Now, what they do is they tend to live in undergrowth. They tend to nest in undergrowth, which might be leaves or sort of grassy hay stuff. So what we could do is just do lots of fun textures and bold marks to give an impression of his nest and you can do this in rainbow colors as well and just these sort of angular grassy hay type shapes And you can do it in lots of different colours as we are going full on rainbow with these sessions. And there is a Hampshire Dormouse group, and they were the ones that were called and helped this dormouse. Isn't that great? There's a Hampshire dormouse group. I love it. Oh, this is the pen that doesn't work very well. So I'll just do a bit of that. La la la. And onto one that works better. He's looking comfy. Let's get some yellow in there. Bless you, Cosmo. So you can tell this is live. You've got the dog sneezing, all sorts. There we go. And what colour haven't we got in there? Should we put a bit of pink in? Just a bit of pink here and there. Have I been racing ahead, kids? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's all on catch up. I'll put this on YouTube for you as well. So you can go to my YouTube channel and catch up if you need to. It will stay on Facebook in my videos page as well. So you get lots of chance to do some more. And while you're busy doing yours, I might get some more merging here, getting some of the red strokes onto the orange, just to give the impression of his fluffiness, because he's so fluffy. And you know how much I like fluffy. I do. <laughs> I do. Bit more up here. Tell me to stop soon, won't you, kids? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe a bit down here as the red merges into the orange. Okay. And there is your rainbow dormouse, all cute and curled up inside his rainbow nest and looking very ready for his good long winter sleep. Wouldn't we all like to do that, eh? Yes. So, can I show them, I know you haven't finished, but can I show them what you've done? Because it's okay, because everybody else is going, oh, it's too fast, as well. So it's fine. 
Jamie, can I show them yours? Because I always show Alice's first, I can show yours. Right, this is, I've obviously been speeding, sorry. Slow it down, you can put me on slow-mo. This is Jamie's, I love it, look at him. <laughs> He's really cute. I think this is going to be fun, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's. These are going to be sweet ones, and this is Alice's. Look at that, I love it too. Fabulous. It's like Oh, it's really cute. You can there. just merge that in there, can't you? Just like I've been doing with mine. We'll work on that in a minute. Fabulous. Well done, everyone. Right. So let me see if I can see what's happening on Facebook. No, it still says there's um, problems. So I can't read the comments, but I hope everything's okay. Um, and also, I wanted to let you know, while I've got you all here, I have produced a Spread Arty Joy Christmas card, which I just felt the need. So this is a special edition 2020 Spread Arty Joy Christmas card, where the robin is on our Rainbow 2020, singing lots of love, and it says, Choose Hope, and we've got our rainbow in there. And on the back, it says, Spread Arty Joy this Christmas. So if anybody would like those, they're in my shop on animalartist.biz um, and I'll put a link on my Facebook page as well. But I wanted to do that quick plug because these are our Spread Arty Joy special edition Christmas cards. So that's a bit of a different one. Okay, so good luck with finishing your door mice. I can't wait to see all these cute curled up fur balls. And then I will put them in our gallery as usual and you can send pictures over to your families and friends of your lovely rainbow dormouse as well. So take care everyone and I'll look forward to seeing your pictures in a minute. Okay, bye!